Hi there. Um, today we're going to be going over the debt snowball. This term was coined by Dave Ramsey. Um, he has uh, a few books there. One, Money Matters, that's very interesting. Um, I, you know, it, if anybody that's looking into trying to rehab their money, definitely read that very good book. Um, this is like a term he's coined for basically trying to get your debt paid off in the quickest manner possible. Um, so basically what I've done is I've broke down, we had our little budget earlier with our credit cards on it. So I took those same credit card balances, the interest rate and the payment here and laid that out at the top. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna be paying these amounts until the point where the first bill is paid off. So at that point, that looks like when I calculated it out with the interest and everything, it was um, 13 months it was gonna take to pay this bill off. So once we're at the 13th month, we would at that point take the money that is coming from here because we won't need to pay that bill any longer and you would go ahead and split it between these two bills. So what I did when I calculated is I noticed that this last bill, because it's a smaller amount starting and we were already paying a fairly decent amount, it only was one more month to pay off that bill. So basically what I would say is just go ahead and continue this bill as you're doing because it's only one more month anyway. Um, and then take all of this amount and apply it to this amount here. That way this second bill can get paid off faster. So at that point, these are the balances that we've had at the moment. So the credit card bill number one would be paid down to zero. We've got credit card bill number two, which still has a $125 balance. Um, I wrote 18 months here because that's how much I calculated to take to pay off at a normal pace, like keeping the same payment the whole time. And then you've got credit card three, which is approximately $25 left over at the end of that month, um, at the end of month 13th. So there's no point in upping the payment just because the next payment's gonna be smaller than what you owe anyway, or what you are balancing out for. So just go ahead and leave this one the same. So next you're gonna take that $40 and go ahead and apply it to the $30 here. So credit card two is getting a now a $70 payment. And when you do that, um, it actually only takes uh, two more months to pay off. So at the end of 14 months, remember we said that this card only had one more payment. At the end of 14 months, these are the balances. You've got one credit card one and three paid off. You only have a $50 balance left on the credit card two. And then at that point, 15 months, you're paid off completely. So you can see over here at 18 months, that's how much it would have been if you just kept the same payment. So the goal with a debt, a debt snowball is to keep accumulating, accumulating the money that you pay off one bill, accumulate it to the next bill. So that the whole time you're getting smaller and smaller debt increments and you're getting more toward the principal, you're paying less in interest, and then you can get done with paying the debt faster. So again, you're going from 15 months of paying that debt to 18 months, and you're not increasing the amount of how much you've invested. I mean, your payment per month is only $100 that you're actually putting toward debt, but you're getting a bigger effect. So um, that's what the debt snowball is. I just wanted to break that down for everybody um, and then to uh, go into more of the reason why we have the budget to begin with because you want to budget out exactly how much money you're going to need to apply to your debt snowballs, how much the interest rate is and the balance. You want to come into everything full force, know exactly what's going on. That way you can make it a plan that gets you out of debt quickly. So I hope this helps everybody as far as um, trying to align your bills and basically try to help yourself as far as getting out of debt and hopefully you can apply these techniques to get out of debt faster. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe down below and thanks for watching.